So what you want to do is just get yourself a little bite of your paracord here. You're going to want to take that bite and put it through the loop here on your tarp, okay? So let's just get this through here. Hold on, I'm, I'm going to loosen this up. It's too tight. Oh, son of a... Ugh. All right, there we go. So now, like I said, you, you take this and you got to get yourself like a little loop here, okay? And then just... Uh, see, the point is you get there has to be a better way than this if y'all watch much YouTube and I'm sure you probably do then you know Joe Robinette Joe Robinette has probably the largest as far as subscribers go channel from the standpoint of bushcraft and on several of his videos he has showed some toggles that he uses to hang up his tarp pretty easily he doesn't talk about that I can see how to make them, but they look pretty simple. And I decided to try to make some toggles like that today, and that's what we're gonna do. As you can see from my introduction there, it's a pain sometimes to get a little hank of that paracord to have enough you know, looseness in your ridge line to be able to do that, put the toggle through, and then you're able to tighten it out. These work much easier. You can actually have your ridge line completely taut and put your tarp on it from that position instead of having to deal with the tension and everything. And that really makes it a lot easier. These toggles are removable, so you can move them from different ridge lines, which is really handy. They're super lightweight. You can make them from all kinds of different materials. I'm gonna make two today from carbon fiber, just little tubes of carbon fiber that I have from old tent pole project, and also gonna make some from some wooden dowels. The secret is the pressic knot, and I'll show you guys how to tie the pressic knot when we put these toggles onto the ridge line. But first, let me show you what you're gonna need and how to make them. Really doesn't get much easier. You're gonna need some wooden dowels, okay? Um, I cut these off and just sanded off the edges so there's no sharp points here. These are two little pieces of carbon fiber, okay? They're just carbon fiber tent poles that I sliced off little um, one and a half inch pieces from. A pair of scissors. You can use a 1 8 inch bit. This happens to be a 7 64 inch bit, which I'm gonna use. And I, since I'm making five toggles, I've got five pieces of bank line here. I would use a gauge which is kind of medium in size, which is what I have here, and you want about 10 or 12 inch pieces. Two different techniques here, one for the wood, okay? And they're really kind of the same, but I just wanna show you guys. The carbon fiber is a little bit harder to get through. So you wanna just go from the side here, okay? And put a little bit of a starting hole there, and then over here. There's no magic as to where they are. You just want them a little bit apart, okay? Then undo it. The way I do it is undo it, and then I put these straight up and down so that I can finish those holes really easily. And there you have a wooden toggle, okay? We'll get some sandpaper and sand this down, but two holes through a wooden dowel. Now, the carbon fiber is even harder. I would do the exact same thing, though, okay? And just be real careful with your holes. It's a little harder to get started. Once you go through, just make your next one. You want to just go through like that and it allows you again to move it straight up and down and that allows you to do these real easy. Just be real slow with these drill holes. I'm gonna get my vacuum cleaner and clean all this dust up, and then let's go to the next step. Can't be any easier to make them from here, guys. Just get your bank line, poke it through one side, okay, there. Get the other side and poke it through. You wanna even these out, okay, so we'll just pull this one through a little bit. You want it to be fairly even up top here, you can see, all right? From here, really simple, just grab both, Loop them through, just like a regular old granny knot, you might say. And then pull it tight. So this is what you have. You've got your bank line going through both parts of your toggle and tied off over here. You can get some scissors and just cut that off. Then get yourself a lighter, just to be sure. Although this is tarred line, you can just push that in and that should not go anywhere. And now you've got yourself a toggle. But that is how easy it is to make these. Let me take them outside and show you how they work. So here is your toggle, right? All you do is loop it through. Okay, do it once. Tighten it, loop it through again. 
tighten it and then loop it through that third time and you want to at this point just tighten it okay so that you have that triple loop basically I'll show you all that again here in a second but you have the triple loop now you can slide this all right back and forth like this but if you pull if you tighten it and you pull from the side it will not come off right uh, pulling but if you grab it from the side it'll slide let me show you all that again and the beauty of it is is like I said these come right off so you can take these off and move them to another ridge line so now we're back off okay so here's our toggle all right I'm gonna go slow this time slower this time put it through there's one slide it through again that's two slide it through the third time and that's what you want now you just have to pull up okay and you can see that you've created your pressic knot okay and once again slides easily this way slides easily this way but once it's tightened if you try to pull to the side oh, I'm pulling as hard as I can guys it is not gonna come off but if you grab it where you're supposed to and slide it it'll slide right over so how does this work with a tarp so you take your middle loop right here and all you do is so much easier just to lock flip it through all right now you can slide this over where you want it okay and we'll go to the other side so you take the other side you loop it through so now you've got it basically strung up all you got to do is slide this over create tension and you've got a top tarp now that it's here okay even though i can slide this over slide it this way nice and tight if i grab it i'm not going to pull too hard because but if i try to pull i'm pulling this pretty darn hard i'm actually pulling hard enough that i'm loosening i'm actually loosening the knot on the tree as you can see though it's not coming off and it's not going to come off if you're careful you can easily move them around you can keep these on your ridge line so it's easy for you to do or you can take them off like i do and move them between different ridge lines and always have flexibility with your tarps so that's how easy it is to make these toggles. Are they necessary? No. Will they make your life easier? You better believe it. They're so much easier when you're out there, especially if it's raining and you want to get your tarp up quick. Easiest way to do it by far is these toggles. Sure, you can do it the old fashioned way out in the field, make little wooden toggles, stick them through there, no big deal. Let me tell you, try these and you will never go back. You saw how easy they are to make. You can make them for hardly any money whatsoever and they weigh basically nothing super great project i encourage you guys to make them and try them out if you do let me know down below if you happen to like this video do me a favor and hit the thumbs up down there really helps spread it across youtube and if you like the channel also give it a subscription really really thankful for all the subscriptions lately if you want to know when i release a new video make sure you hit that little ding dong bell and you'll be the first one to know because not everybody finds out when you release a new video only certain people somehow determined by youtube i don't know just a quick tip for y'all today hope you enjoyed it Thanks for watching Paleo Hiker MD and look forward to more videos soon.